What's up and welcome back to your home for competitive VR shooters. Contractor Showdown is in closed beta. You can apply right below. Just join their Discord, jump in. They're accepting 5,000 applicants. It's going to move to open beta on March 1st. Now this video is going to get you on your feet and out to battle as quickly as possible. Contractor Showdown is a 45 person battle royale. The map is massive. That was 45 people in trios currently. And naturally a massive game like this comes with a learning curve. So I'm going to be going over the loadouts, the attachments, the movement mechanics, how to parachute, the best way to parachute, how to travel from point A to point B without getting stuck in the storm because there are no vehicles in here, how to unlock skins, how to customize your weapon, the perk system, and a bunch of other things. But first off, I want to cover how to squad with people because I feel this is going to be the biggest thing you're going to want right now. So you just open up your menu and you're going to go click on the friends right here. You're going to need to type in the UID. Your UID is in the top left hand corner underneath your name. So once you send out the friend request and they accept it, you can click invite or request to join their squad. Welcome to the headquarters of Showdown. Here you have everything you need to get ready for battle. First off, I want to go over your arsenal. I'm going to be using the HK for this example, and I'm going to be slapping some attachments on. I'm going to put the vertical, the red dot, and the compensator. And voila, I'm ready to roll. So this is now ready to battle. Just the fact that we can just slap the attachments on that easily is what I like. The weapons reload just like contractors do, realistic reloading. And when you hit A, you can change your fire mode to single fire, which is great for long distance. Even better whenever you have your four times scope. You can pull your mag and take a look at how many bullets you have left in there. And also bullets do stack, so throw your old mags into your stomach to go into your inventory. So let's customize your optics. This is your weapons workbench. From here you can customize everything about the gun, all the way down to the skins, every little detail about it. Even the suppressors. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to the sites and you can see right here that you can customize each individual site. So this workbench is very beneficial. Unfortunately, you're going to have to unlock all of the optics because all of this is cosmetic. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to unlock that right now. Here is the crafting table. You decode cards from the cards that you find. You can see right here I found a green one. I throw it into the mica. You can see that it takes time to upload. Don't die before it uploads or you're not going to get your cosmetic. After battle, you can come back to your headquarters and you can decode what you uploaded and you can see that I unlocked the skin. That's it. You're not getting rocket launchers or anything like that. Speaking of explosives, let's go over the grenades. Currently, these are the five grenades right here. This is the detection grenade. It's pretty much a little UAV. What I like about the system is when you pull the pin, you can aim with your offhand like this. You could also cook the grenade by hitting the top button and then you just throw it ready to roll. Now this doesn't pick up anything in the headquarters, but in game, it'll look like this. You can see everybody that just got highlighted and tagged. Now this is your flash bing. It'll flash you like this. The frag grenade, I feel, doesn't really need an introduction. It just explodes, deals deadly damage. Now your radiation grenade is pretty much a way to get people out of buildings. And if you're inside that dome, it will hurt you as well. This is alpha recording right here. It was dealing 15 damage to the guy camping in the house and we had to fish him out to finish him off. And of course, your smoke grenade. What I don't like about the smoke grenade is it looks like a giant fart cloud. Look at that. You have three vending machines. The red one is the munition vending machine. This has all your attachments and your utilities and even some guns. What I do like to do is buy the automatic sniper. I throw the silencer, the red dots with the four times sight and a vertical grip. So if I have a lot of money, that's usually the loadout I like to run with. If not, I just land on the HK because that is deadly. Now the purple one is the prime vendor. This is where you get all the extensions and the upgrades. What I like to do is go with the rifle extended clip, the extension. You can see I have 30 bullets here. Once I ingest this into my stomach, now I have 40. And again, putting things into your stomach is how you get it into your inventory. It's pretty much just going right into the backpack. Now that is the armor plate extension. This adds one more plate. Now I have three plates over here. Now I do want to point out that you have 100 health and 50 per each plate. So that's a total of 250 damage you're going to need to deal. This is the insurance vendor. This is the blue one. You can redeploy your ally that have died and also buy insurance for yourself. The difference between your basic insurance and your advanced insurance is that when you select advanced, you come back with an AK-47. The basic, you just land with a pistol. Now don't worry, you can still heal people when they are down. 
you just grab the syringe from their chest and hold trigger on them. This is going to heal them to their feet. Now let's go over the chest piece. This is the mica. This is probably the most important information you're going to have in your hand. Now whenever you pull and hit trigger when you're inside the map, you can actually ping by hitting trigger on the map. As soon as you select something, you can take a look and right there I am pinged. Now to ping, you can actually hold the mica like a bazooka. From the bottom of it, you'll see a line come out. You just hit trigger the ping. Another way to ping is by putting your hand next to your head and then hit trigger. This will ping the center of your screen. These are your mica chips. If you just put them right to the center, they are ready to roll. They fill up their own little spots. You cycle through these by pressing B. You can see this is the detection jammer. It will block a UAV up to three times. When I switched over to the decoy, I only get three of these. They are all the same skin, same character, and they don't even hold a weapon. They're pretty easy to spot. Now you can see that I throw a barricade over the top of this airstrike and now it is gone. So they do cancel each other out. Be careful when you're stacking these. The barricade's life isn't that long so don't worry about it. You only get two of them. I do feel the airstrike is the best. You can see it fills this whole spot open and just rains chaos in there. Damaging all the enemies in that area. Between these I do like to use the airstrike and the UAV. I feel those are the most powerful. One thing I do want to mention here is whenever you pull the mica out, it will highlight everything in that area, including the vending machines and the boxes to loot. I highly recommend going after the cash in the weapons box. In the weapons box, you do have a chance of getting the MCX spear, which is a very powerful automatic. While we are in the air, I want to show you how the parachuting works. Parachuting is the best way to travel from point A to point B, if you're doing it correctly. Now, when you grab your handles, you want to push them out and up. This way you can glide the farthest. Now, if you pull them down and back, you're going to go slow and drop fast. Now, do keep in mind, it does make a noise, so you just can't ninja up on somebody silently. You will get caught. Now, let's talk inventory. This is your backpack. Notice it's not the Ghost of Tabor backpack where you just stuff things in there. You actually have slots. You can just reach in and grab whatever highlighted item it is and throw it out. And in order to put things in your backpack, you just shove it into your stomach. These are your grenades. You can cycle through them by holding your hand over it and hitting the buttons, X or Y. On the other side is the medical equipment. Again, you can cycle through by using A or B. This is pretty much the crack pin. You just inject it and your stamina is full blown, ready to rock and roll and you have a speed boost. It only lasts for a little while though. So your crackhead power is not forever. Your bandage will heal you, I believe 25%, I might be wrong, but it does stack. What I like to do is just throw a couple on when I'm stuck in the storm and then I can continue looting. From here you can see that I'm still healing. So I'm just gonna slap another one on and continue looting. This is your heal syringe. You just pull it out and inject it as well. Just pull it to your chest and hit trigger. And it will heal you a lot faster than the bandages and also 100%. Sorry about moving around. I'm in the heat of the battle here. So now let's talk about the contracts. If you go to hit play game, right over here are your contracts. This is where you can unlock a bunch of rewards. And then in the top right corner here, you can see we have our perks. I don't want to read every single one of them. Though, what I do want to point out are the ones that I like to use. For me, I go with Tycoon so I can have that extra $3,000 when I spawn in. For my second perk, I like to run with Iron Lung. That way I can increase my stamina bar by 50%. And for the third one, I like to run with the Rifleman. This will increase your ADS speed by 35%. It's just moving around while you're looking down your sights. And it also decreases recoil when you're holding an automatic rifle. Now, if showdowns for you, you're definitely going to want to subscribe. I'm going to be going over this game all the time. So whenever there's updates, when there's patches, I'm gonna be releasing videos on it. I'm gonna keep you informed the best that I can. So definitely hit that bell. So that's it. That's a wrap. I hope this video has helped you guys out. Don't forget to leave a like if it did, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more showdown content. This is the channel for you. As always, I'll see you guys next time, and peace out till then.